you know, I know they announced this a couple of weeks ago at Emergence, and um, I don't know. It wasn't initially something I really was going to talk about, but now that I'm kind of sitting and thinking about it, uh, Will Ospreay bound for glory? At first, when they said he was going to be a bound for glory, I was figuring it's a one-off, so I was just like, okay, that's cool. That's awesome. But then they said he's going to stick around for a little bit. I think he's going to do the fallout. I don't, I don't know if I envision him staying for six months or anything like that. Um, but I, I see him, you know, he's doing the fallout. So I see him having some good matches with impact. And of course, once they've said Osprey is going to, you know, going to be here, um, people are fantasy booking. What's he going to do at Bound for Glory? Who is he going to face? And immediately people jump to uh, Speedball Mike Bailey because that was supposed to be the Multiverse United match. And frankly, I think that's all that is. It's a multiverse United worthy match because I know in the impact bubble, uh, I'm not a big, I'm not a Mike Bailey guy personally, just cause I, I speak about it all the time. The roles, the flips, not my style of wrestling, but I know the talent that he has. I see the talent. I know that a lot of impact fans really, really like him. But outside of the impact bubble, I don't know that he's the name that you try to sell uh, at Bound for Glory. I, I just I can't envision that. Now, if he's sticking around and he's doing a fallout, I can see Speedball Mike Bailey. I can see that match. Well, I know that match is going to happen because, you know, I, I say this all the time. If Impact has a plan, they're going to see it through. If someone gets hurt, it, it, that's just delaying the inevitable. They're going to do it. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a match, if it's a storyline, it's a title change. They're just going to do it. So is he going to wrestle Mike Bailey? Absolutely. Absolutely. I see that happening. Uh, Bound for Glory Fallout. And there's some other there's some other matches that um, that are really interesting from a wrestling standpoint. You know, I go up and down the roster here. Um, I mean, there's a lot of names, but there's a few that I think are realistic, like you know, I would like to see him wrestle Allen Angels. I don't think they're going to put that on the show, though, you know. But I can see, aside from Mike Bailey, uh, you know, Ace Austin or Chris Bay, I can, I, I really, really can envision that being a thing. Um, I would love to see him uh, against Frankie Kazarian um, or Jonathan Gresham. So those are the ones that, like, stand out to me where I'm like, hey, oh, these, these should be some really good matches. I would... If I had a if I had a preference, it would be Frankie Kazarian, and then Jonathan Gresham second. Uh, you know Eddie Edwards. I think we're past the point of that being a thing. You know he's doing a little bit more character work. He's fat. I just I don't know if they they can. I don't think it works. I I, I don't think you can like marquee match up Eddie Edwards right now. Even though I think he's doing some great stuff with Alicia, I don't see that being a thing. It could be a fallout thing. I don't see it being a bound for glory thing. But if he's going to wrestle a one-on-one -on -one match and there's no stakes, then it's got to be Frankie or, or um, Jonathan Gresham. I don't know what Gresham's doing right now. I'm out of the loop with him. I don't know if he's hurt. I would imagine he is. Um, but Frankie's probably the one that really like stands out to me. There's some, there's some other matches on here, but a lot of the Impact guys are very character-based, and I don't think they're going to waste them on – or waste Osprey on the, you know, come wrestle John Schuyler or, or something like that. Um, Kenny King, I would love. I don't think that's realistic. The match that I really actually would love to see, and I think it would be a good BTI match if you actually want people to watch that show, other than the you know handful of people who do, is Kevin Knight. Um, the more I'm watching this guy, like I think this is one of the truly like best wrestlers in the world, and and I'm not even exaggerating. I think this guy has everything. So um, that's actually if, if we're doing a BTI, you know, maybe throwaway type of match. Like that's that's the one I would fuck with. I I really would now. But let's talk for Bound for Glory. So, I mean, he has just beat Kenny Omega, uh, Jericho, Okada. Like this guy's wrestling the big fucking dogs in in wrestling right now, and he's winning too. So there's there's one of two things that I. Well, there's one thing I want to see happen, and then there's one who I, what I think is going to happen. <clears throat> what I think is going to happen 
is that he's going to wrestle Chris Saban for the X Division Championship. Um, and in, in that case, I think he'll probably win. But that's kind of what I think is going to happen. They're, I just don't see them bringing Will Ospreay in to just have a match. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then having a couple matches after that and then, okay, bye. That's not how Impact works. Maybe like AEW would do that. But that's not how Impact has ever operated. You're coming in from another company. You're big name. Uh, you're going to wrestle for the title or win the title within your first two or three matches. That is just how it is. That is not me being negative. It's just how it is. That That is how it's always been. It's how it's continued to be. It's how it's been this year. It was that way last year. It's going to be this way next year. So, uh, you know, I see that Chris Saban match happening. Now, this is what I would like to see happen. So we know that they're heading towards Alex Shelley versus Josh Alexander for the main event. From a wrestling standpoint, the match is going to be fantastic. And I don't even use that word, but it's going to be fantastic, okay? We already know this. But I, I'm kind of dreading the promos and the stories and everything leading up to it. Because outside of, you know, I've talked about the crutch before, right? Um uh, when they need to inject some life into a story, they they bring the wife in. Alicia, Ty Valkyrie, um, Joss's wife, Jade, you know, uh, Melissa Santos, you know, that's what they do when they have to inject. You can't really do that here. This is a babyface versus babyface match. The promos are going to be pretty boring. Uh, the story is going to be, you know, they might create some fake heat, but it, this this needs Will Ospreay. And I'm, I'm a proponent that the more people you add to a match, the less, it, the less it, uh, I should say, the more it devalues the story, the wrestling story being told, not the storyline, but the story in the ring. The more, once you add a third person, a fourth person, a fifth person, now it's just acrobatics, right? But this is the match here that I, God, I, I do think they have to inject them into it because I don't think you're going to sell a, the pay per views with that as your main event. You know, for the Impact bubble, maybe, but outside of it, Impact is, you know, they want Josh to be the golden boy. They want him to be the next AJ Styles, but he's not. He may, maybe he'll get there. I'm just saying right now he's not. So this is what you do. You 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 put Osprey in this freaking match. He's going to outshine the guys on the mic, you know, but, but that's just what you got to do. And now I would imagine Osprey has to have a match with Josh Alexander at some point. I know it's going down the roster here, and we're talking about Mike Bailey and Ace Austin, but I can't imagine that they don't have plans for Josh Alexander versus Will Ospreay. I mean, how can, how can you not do that? Impact has Josh fighting everybody else, and it kind of makes me wish he wasn't, you know, on, on a course for the world title at this point, because that might be a better match at Bound for Glory. But they're going this direction, and if that's the direction you're going to go, I would do it. I would pull the trigger. He might even win, because this is Impact we're talking about. He might even win. But I think you got to put the guy in the main event. 